We're going to talk Arkansas at Texas A&M. We got A&M at a minus two and a half on this one. The totals of 48 and a half. What are we looking at here? Hey, guys, don't forget about our official sponsor, Caesar Sportsbook. For all new accounts, they're giving you up to $1,250 in a risk-free first bet. And win or lose, you get 1,000 reward credits and 1,000 tier credits added onto your account. All you've got to do is download the Caesar Sports Betting app and use the prom promo code WOODFUL. Or you can check out the description of this video and click on the link. Well, I think the wrong team is the favorite, to be quite honest with you. Even though I respect the bookmakers, I just, my eye test has told me that uh, Arkansas is much better than Texas A&M. Uh, Texas A&M is coming off a win and a cover last week at home against Miami, 17-9. Uh, the week before, 17-14 uh, loser to App State as a 17-point home favorite. So in their two games versus FBS opponents, Texas A&M has averaged just 15.5 points and 225.5 yards per game. Absolutely anemic. Uh, they're number 23 in the AP poll after starting number six to start the year. And uh, at 23, I still think they're overrated. Arkansas coming off a scare last week. They were caught looking ahead, uh, but they pulled out a win, 38-27, over FCS team Missouri State. Uh, this is an Arkansas team that wears people down defensively. Uh, the Brazerbacks averaged 74 offensive plays per game. 64.9% of those plays are runs. Yet, if you look at their uh, yardage, they are, it's almost 50 50. They average 246 yards per game on the ground and 252 via the air. Uh, this is an AM team that only averages 54 offensive plays per game. Part of that has to do with the uh, slower tempo that they play at, and it also has to do with the fact that they can't sustain drives. As a matter of fact, what's really alarming to me, Ellie, considering how good Arkansas can run the ball, is opponents are averaging. 34 minutes and 29 seconds in time of possession against the Texas A&M Aggies. I'm taking Arkansas here plus the two and a half, and I would highly recommend buy it up to three, which is a key number. It's not a sign of weakness. It's smart sports betting. And remember, folks, the juice only counts when you lose. <laughs> That's only kind of true, but but you got it. All right, all right. Um, so, yes, we are going to go Arkansas plus three. We want to buy the hook. The hook is the half point for anybody out there who doesn't, who's new to the sports betting lingo. Buying a half point is called buying the hook hook. Um, you can find more of Ross Benjamin's premium plays over at picksandparlays.net. He's 20 and 11 in combined college football and NFL for the start of the season. So he's hot and his premium picks are available for you over at picksandparlays.net. Use that promo code NFL. It saves 20% off the entire site.